So the I got my hands on an Oculus Go. Ooh, um, this so is the this is the doesn't need a computer. It's kind of the Samsung Galaxy setup, but without like the separate stuff. It's you don't have in, to put it. You don't have yeah. to put a phone into it. Um, you're right. It doesn't have a. Um, it doesn't need a PC to run. Runs on its own. It is running Android on the inside. I, I noticed because I can't remember what I went into some settings menu and it was like it looked familiar. It, it looked. It, it not only looked familiar, but somewhere it said like running Android version, whatever. Um, so there's the Go and there's the Quest. The Quest okay. actually can do two of the like Oculus style hand controllers. Okay. Like you see when you, the Oculus. I don't know. I go to the picture on the site and they're just doing like crazy. Uh, I, you apparently need a lot of room uh, because she's doing crazy lightsaber stuff. Is that that might be the quest? Yeah, I'm looking at the quest. Yeah, the quest yeah, you need. Yeah. You need. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> you need some room for the quest. The quest. Yeah, the quest looks like it uses. Um, it, it's using the standard like dual. Um, like those gyroscope. Yeah, the looking. gyroscopic ones, and it looks like the quest is using pretty similar to the one that we I got for the um, the Samsung for the Gear Galaxy VR. Gear VR. Yes. Yeah, the, um, not at not as not as precise or anything, but. But I mean, still works. Well, it, the interesting thing is, um, they've kind of reworked the way the remote works. It's it's to me much more comfortable. You have a trigger, you have a back button, you have a home button, and there's actually ha- it has a touch pad on it, so you can scroll through things. Um, the frame rate is where I noticed the difference. I think like the Galaxy Gear VR, depending on what phone you put in and which model you have, is. 30 frames per second and this is 60 frames per second mm-hmm. um the resolution also i think is a little higher to me it's also lighter um so the device is under uh, is a pound or less um the other cool thing that they have is that's, that's a, those those first gen ones the vibe and the oculus did seem pretty heavy yeah the, and your face would be sweaty yeah. the band that goes around your head though i thought was cool because it's actually on you can pivot it up so you mm-hmm. can leave the band kind of where it's at mm-hmm. on your head and you can take the whole visor and kind of tilt it upwards and rest it on your forehead. Mm-hmm. So that I thought that was nice. Unlike the gear, that, that is the one thing with the gear, right? Mm-hmm. If you want to be able to see what's around you without having to lift the visor up, you can actually turn on the camera on your phone yes. the, and kind of reposition yourself in a room or on a Ooh. sofa or whatever. Um so I'm pretty impressed with it. I will say it it made me feel almost nauseous because one of the first things I, I, would, I always like to go watch like one of the guided tours or the videos or whatever. So there was on the Oculus TV, there's actually a TV channel now mm-hmm. for all their, for a lot of their videos. And the first thing that popped up in there was the, the new steel curtain ride at Kennywood. Um, yeah, it, it kind of made me nauseous. <laughs> So it did its job. It, it was a roller coaster. Yeah, it was. Oh, the other <laughs> so. thing, the other thing that I thought was super interesting was, um, it does have a headphone jack, mm-hmm. but there are very small speakers built into the headband as well. Hmm. Um, there, it's not as great as having like a nice set of high quality wired speaker or wired headphones plugged mm-hmm. in, um, like a Dolby Atmos type set i have a i can't remember who makes them um but just having like the the sound coming through there it was it was good enough for for a roller coaster ride so i'm pretty impressed with them for i think the base price is one 199 for the 32 gig model 249 for the 64 gig that's nice and is that 32 gig just kind of feel like uh enough yeah, I, I mean, I think I downloaded a couple apps and I may have used like 600 mm. meg. I'm st- most of the stuff I'm doing, I'm streaming. It's a, see, it, it feels. I, I know 16 on the gear felt very, feels very limiting. But, but I but, feel like that's because you also have to keep everything else on your phone. Right, but it's also.